ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Hello, everybody. Big Planes here. And today, I wanted to try something a little different from what I normally do. This is a micro scale build. It should be around the 1 to 200th scale. It's somewhere around there. It's the Saturn Apollo Saturn V rocket that they would use on the Apollo missions, which were not faked. <laughs> and this is, I'm trying these smaller ones now. Um, that's sort of a small series because they're cheaper to build. I can store more of them on my shelves. And yeah, they're, they're just easier to deal with. So let's get into it. A minifigure at the scale of this rocket is still fairly large. As you can see right here, I have my little penguin. It's, it stands about a foot tall, so that's how you can sort of get scale. Sometimes these things are a bit hard to judge, so that's why I put the minifigure in there. As with almost all the expendable rockets, you have this tiny little capsule at the top that actually made it to the destination. The rest of this giant rocket would have been discarded while leaving Earth's gravity. The rocket itself can be removed from the launch pad, which just leaves the launch pad right here. So that sort of gives you an idea of what that would look like. It's, it's a fairly simple construction, just using mostly those stacked round bricks with some 2x2 two two plates. And for the gates, I just use these clips on their sides, and I use a few bars in there. Once that the rocket is alone, you can see that it is fairly complex for what it is. Instead of just using standard round bricks like you may expect for a build like this, it actually uses a combination of brackets, curved slopes, and standard cheese slopes to achieve that round sort of three stud wide look here that you would get with this cone piece right here. Once you reattach the rocket to the launch pad, you can see that at the top here, it's clipped in using just a sort of standard bar and clip mechanism. That's so the rocket won't tip over. And these gates here are just sort of for show. Some of them aren't even connected all the way. This one here would be the crew hatch, or how the crew would get in. There would be a little room up here, and that's how they would get in. And down here, just sort of gates here, just there. I'm not a huge professional on this, so somebody in the comments will correct me. but these gates would have to move out of the way. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and please share, like, and subscribe. See you later. Bye.